Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Dr. Bob Lee, and uh, our next guest joins us to share more about Golf Youth Day at Van Cortland Park. We welcome uh, William Larkin and Elion Lays. Welcome to the show, guys. How you doing? How you doing? All right. You guys look nice and comfortable, laid back. Yes. Yes. With my mind on my money and my money on my money. <laughs> on my mind. So what's going on? I haven't seen you since the Make the Great Golf yes. Party. We just showed a little package. Oh, you did show it? Yeah, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was a great event. Everybody yeah. had a good time. That was great. It yeah. was great. You did, did a very good job at that. Well, thank you, thank you, thank How you. How did everyone like the facility? They loved the facility. They loved the new clubhouse. They loved the grounds. You guys prepared it well for us. That's good. Thank you. I was over in Europe, man, but I planned to win that thing. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to fly back. Yeah, to fly. They said to fly you back. had skills. So I was yeah, wondering if you could get back and win yeah, some of the Because he looked like he was working. Yeah. And Avita came back out and took off from work. But I just don't want to play without him. <laughs> so share a little bit about the, the golf course and what you guys are getting ready to do with the, with the foundation or with the, the youth. Well, uh, for the past few years, we've been doing a uh, junior golf day. Uh -huh. About 400 kids. Uh, I want to thank Bronx Community Board 8. I want to thank the 50th precinct, the precinct for yeah. helping us out. Uh, also Harlem Golf. It's a great facility. It's, it's a good thing for the kids. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to introduce golf into, we want to continue to bring golf into the inner city. Mm -hmm. I think it's important. I mean, they have a lot of great programs like... Uh, Those cameras are not there. Okay. Just me and you. Um, they have a lot of great programs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm only behind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always, not always in front of the camera. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> behind the scenes. But, um, you know, uh, for us, uh, they have great programs like the, the First T, Junior PGA of America, but we don't believe those programs are really reaching the inner city. Yeah. yeah and yeah. you can see on the PGA Tour where you had Tiger Woods and then there was a, a vacancy of of minority athletes on, yeah, on yeah. the tour so you know William came up with the idea it was his brainchild mm -hmm. that we continue along with Tom from Harlem Golf and we're yeah. doing a great job the kids have a great day and you know what you know we want to yeah. get those kids to take advantage of some of the opportunities that are there for young golfers. Make the great could probably get involved. In some That'd stuff. be great yeah. Yeah. and one of the ways we're targeting um, the kids are we going to the community centers. Uh -huh. All the kids are signed up for community centers and the projects or yeah. in those urban areas. We're reaching those kids. We're not reaching for the kids who are well-to-do in Westchester. Yeah. We're reaching for the kids who are doing good in school or, or, or in some type of after-school activity. Yeah, and that should be probably one of the qualifications you have to yes. continue to maintain your grades yes. to get involved and, and we did great last year 200 we had 200 300 kids they had a blast we had no problems mm -hmm. kids loved it what can kids expect to to learn when they come down um they're gonna they're gonna learn a little yeah. they're gonna learn a little bit but they're gonna have a lot of fun yeah and that's what it's about you got to fall in love with the game first and then like you you fell in love with the game and then yeah, everything I, else comes oh, with it i didn't like golf at all i thought it was very yeah, but now now you now now you're i mean you hide something. from you now swinging on tv <laughs> the kids are going to have a great day it's gonna be a lot of food a lot of great prizes uh -huh. a lot of great speeches and uh -huh. we're just going to connect with the uh, connect with the community we have also we have some great people on our team we have mia who was instrumental in helping getting a uh, uh, Congressman Rangel reelected. She's down with mm. us. She's been really putting out the word and making yeah. sure we got a good, a good team of people that are going to come out and really speak to the kids and let them know that we support them. You know, I think this is needed because something like this, what it does, it, it first of all it pulls people off the streets. Mm -hmm. you right. know, because it'll give them something positive to do. They learn how to discipline themselves because if you can learn something like that and you need, you learn those steps necessary to learn how to golf, you can take that everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It doesn't have to be golf, everywhere, but you can have that concept yeah. and that discipline uh, to carry William it says golf is level. life. You know? Golf is life. Golf, golf is life. If I want to know anything about a person, I play golf with them. If mm -hmm. they cheat, they, they take shortcuts, they're impatient, they get distracted, you learn everything around the golf because it's so, the sport takes so much concentration, you can't it be does. phony. It does. You can't, and, you know, and, pretend and be expect, yeah. uh, uh, you know, And also, we, we don't want to forget the amount of minority scholarships. I mean, it's overrun. Uh -huh. Scholarships are being wasted. Uh, you know, there are a lot of kids that are trying to get in through basketball, football, baseball, even academics. But let me tell you something. A young minority man or woman going into college and he's, he, he's taking up the game of golf, they're almost giving these scholarships away, and I think it's important for these yeah, kids to know. Yeah, yeah. And I think the PGA... Uh, people they're, they're looking for people to come up and get yeah. more involved because yeah. you, like you said I think there's, there's a void and they showed that on TV too absolutely the numbers are way down way down way yeah, down I think that the numbers are they level off from age 50 and over or something like mm -hmm. that yep but well, I the youngsters are not getting involved I they were even thinking about making the holes bigger bigger yeah <laughs> you see that yeah the, and the, the clubs bigger so <laughs> the kids what, can get on in the holes? on the entry yeah. level <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. You gotta get a little clown that comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Our life is not like that, as we know. So we don't want to teach that. Lesson. I want to shout out uh, our also uh, uh, our, our, our partner Wendell, Has Wendell Haskins. Uh, he is the vice president of urban development. PGA has made some great moves of mm -hmm. uh, bringing minorities into the golf world. Wendell is now the senior VP. He's in the golf hall of fame. He's one yeah. of our guys. One of the guys. And, yeah. And, I started him in the game about ten years ago. And, oh, yeah. he, and he supports us. He gets behind all of these events. And you know what? We want to get the PGA involved. We want to get First Tee involved. We want to say, yeah, those funds are going to the community, but we don't want, you know, it's great that you can drop your kid off in a limousine from Westchester, but we want somebody in the South Bronx, we want somebody in Soundview Projects to be able to go and, and, yeah. then, and then take advantage of these opportunities. And say, hey, I'm from Soundview Projects. We're not exactly. That's where I'm from. from. That's, exactly. I mean, I was born and raised in Soundview. And I'm I was from Brownsville, Brooklyn. Brownsville, Brooklyn. Yeah. Brooklyn. So we, you know, we, we, our, connection, our, our, exactly. connection is, our, our connection is I music. I live in the five boroughs. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But our connection was music, and then uh -huh. I got into the golf business years, years back, and Lays jumped on probably about seven years ago, and he's already a scratch golfer. But yeah. number one, I want to give a shout-out to Van Corlin Golf LLC. That's the company that I manage. Yeah. Great family. They run Forest Park, Douglaston, yeah. one of the best management companies out there, Forest Golf. They're good people. Um, we go in it for a while, but at the end, they always back me. Yeah. No matter how, what hair brain scheme I got going. Yeah. So Frank Richards, um, Michael Taffet, um, Norman Taffet, they're good people. Uh -huh. And that's it. So what, what will kids uh, get out of this whole thing at the end of the day? We got bikes. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we got, we're trying to win them ourselves. We, yeah, we're trying to win the bikes got, ourselves. Yeah. We're Tom from Harlem Golf, yeah. yeah we we yeah. bought about four bikes. We're going to do a hole in one. It's, it's Tom's idea. Great he day. says, you know me, you play a golf tournament, and you have a, a uh -huh. car for a hole in one. We're going to give out bikes for a hole in one. Good, good, good. Yeah, well, of course, they're going to take something home with them other than the, the, the bike. What, 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 what are they going to learn? Well, they're going to learn something that kids don't know about today. Kids don't know about face to face conversation, they don't know about friends running outside playing. Everybody's in their phone. Right. This is, we do teamwork. It's not all about golf. Sometimes we do tug of war. We do a little bit of golf. We, we just mix it up. They just learn camaraderie. Yeah, that's beautiful. I think it's going to be an awesome day for the children. I mean, last year, the experience was great. We even got some golfers out of last year's crew. Uh -huh. They came back to the course. They want to get into the game of golf. And we're going to be there to teach them. It's our responsibility as, as guys that are in this business to teach these kids and show them that it's not just an elite sport. It's for everyone. Yeah. So big youth day coming up. What's the date on that? It's Tuesday. Tuesday's uh, play. I play golf for kids. I uh, Van Cortland Golf Course donated some of the money for tomorrow's round goes uh -huh. towards the kids. Beautiful. Day. I golf for kids dot org. Yes. I Very golf for kids dot org. Yeah. So golfers play for this kind of portion of that Number is given four. to. Them. Yeah. Four. F O R E. F O R E. Like four. 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 <laughs> you know, golf thing, you know. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Is there yeah. a website? That, that, that is one. But what's the Van Cortland website? Van Cortland Golf dot com. All right. All right. Thanks. She's wrapping. Look at her. Look at <laughs> GolfNYC.com. Go to that website. Go to the website. Right. Come out tomorrow. Golf Have a NYC. great time. You're all welcome. All right. Thank, give them a big round of applause, everybody. Thank Will you. Larkin and Laz. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. All right, hold on, we still got you. Oh. All right, we got to take a quick break, but uh, up next, we'll have a, a unique Pre workout. Out. Check it out. Coming up. Mumblebee. <laughs> Mumblebee. I'm going to kill you, Mumblebee. She's like, that's it. I'm like, okay. Let me go home. She's like, get out. Not you. Okay.